thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I completed the dog's head in this colored pencil drawing. Now I usually like to start with the eyes. They tend to be the darkest, so it sets the value range up right away. Also, I feel if I get the eyes done correctly, I'm more confident that I can achieve realism of the same level as I move outward. Next, I move on to the nose, the second most prominent feature on the face and also another dark section. For this drawing, I thought I would start with a grisaille underpainting, though I did leave a lot of space lighter than it ended up being for the final rendering. The grisaille helps to establish the value range for the entire painting. You'll notice that I lay down the colored pencil, then I follow it with a paintbrush. Since I'm working on gesso bar board, it is a bit difficult to lay down the pencil enough to get rid of the white dots that appear, so I'm using odorless mineral spirits to blend. When I do this, I dip my paintbrush into the OMS, and then I wipe it off with a soft rag. If I have too much OMS on my brush, it makes the color too loose and too watery. The OMS basically melts the colored pencil and helps to turn it into a kind of paint, so that I am basically painting with the pencil pigments. If I don't have enough OMS on the paintbrush, the pencil doesn't melt and it won't blend. After you lay down the odorless mineral spirits, you notice that it darkens the value significantly. Also, when you're using the colored pencils, not just the black, it will cause the colored pencils to be more saturated. For any drawing or painting, it's important to push your values. Make your darks really dark and your lights really light so that there's high contrast. There's a tendency to go too light and too soft when working in colored pencil, but to get a feeling of realism, you need to show sufficient depth. Here's my mascot, Maple. She thinks she's helping, but little did I realize that when she got up, she'd smudge the whole top of the board. Go play, kitty. I frequently use an electric eraser. It's a koei Noor eraser, and it works amazingly well in the gesso board. It erases to a nearly perfect white. Sometimes you have to be careful. It erases so well it can leave blank spots that aren't properly blended. For this, I just lightly dab the eraser over and over if I want to pick up just a small amount of pigment. And now I'm laying down my base colors. I went a little too purple initially, but I was able to work it out.
again, I lay down the colored pencil and I layer it in multiple colors and then I go over it with the paintbrush and the odorless mineral spirits so that I can blend it. I keep going over it, laying down more and more colored pencil and layering it and then going back over it with the paintbrush and the odorless mineral spirits for more blending. And I do this repeatedly, layering over and over and over again until I achieve a level of depth that uh, adds to the realism of the dog. Now I'm going back in to pull out the detail. What's great about the gesso board is the endless ability to use an X-Acto knife to etch out all the details. As I work, I brush away the bits with my drawing brush to keep the board clean. I continue going back into the fur to add in those shadows where the clumps of fur are. Then I etch out whiskers and strands of fur, pulling them out more and more with my X-Acto knife until I've achieved a wide range of highlights and depth. I continue using these techniques to work on the rest of the dog. I use them in his legs and in his backside, exactly as I did with the head. I also go over it with the cream colored pencil and I do a little bit of burnishing to get more blending and achieve a more uh, softer effect. continue blending with the OMS and pulling out the highlights with the X-Acto knife repeatedly over and over layer upon layer until I get more depth and more realism in the dog's face. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos in the future, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.